Hey, fly girls and fly guys. Welcome to another AI fuzz video. And today we will be checking out the newly released I See Light. And this is a link to the GitHub. I will post this link in the description. And basically, I See Light is a project to manipulate the illumination of images. Now, there are some apps that do this, but I think I See Light approaches it differently because it is text condition relighting the model and the background. Both types take foreground images as inputs. And it's doing a little bit differently because there's more steps and actually going a different route and getting a better result. So I linked to the description, I linked in the description to this GitHub. You can ha go through these commands to get it installed. They also have a background condition demo on Gradio. You can also just run that. They do post a link to the hugging face space where the demo is running. Word. All right. So here's some examples, uh, some text condition model examples. There's a prompt and you can, uh, you could actually adjust the lighting from the left, right, top or bottom and put an image, adjust the dimensions and it looks pretty good. This one is beautiful woman detailed face sunshine from window. And that is pretty nice. I mean, that's hard to do just to get it to lit, lit correctly. Look at the backlit right there. It was beautiful. Um, this one is beautiful woman detailed face neon. Wong Kar Wai, the famous director, warm. And that's a pretty nice shot. And this one just really blew my mind, baby. This one sunshine outdoor warm atmosphere it took this it actually you know took the image um mashed out the subject and put it here and that lighting is fabuloso baby uh so i love it it, it is many more examples so let's just write let's just jump into the demo right now and i took a picture here of blanca and we're using beautiful woman, detailed face, neon city light. Light is the coming from the right. And you also have the quick list, which has um, keywords or key phrases. Under the relight section, you have how many images you want output. You have a seed, image height, image width to match your original image. And under advanced options, you have the number of steps, CFG scale, the noise, high res scale and the high res noise and you can add a added prompt and a negative as well so and they also give you examples down here that they had on the hugging face on the github page so we're going to see how this does this is actually an actual image of blanca um i think i put her in i think i put her in a dress but we're going to see what it does with real images and then we'll see what it does with actual ai images so let's see you may extreme you may experience extreme lagginess, baby, because there's everyone is on this. Everyone is jumping on top of this, getting all over it because it was released and it's, you know, we're trying to test it. So we're going to see what it comes up with. All right, here is the image. There is the mashed out image, really mashed out the subject. And here is the final. And wow, baby, that is phenomenal that is good look at that i'm going to download that maybe but look at that it, it it really gets the lighting and keeps the image correct and i was wondering how it would handle keeping because i didn't want to change the original image but it looks like it kept that correct so i'm going to do another image um let's do lighting of we should try something different baby we should try the lighting of a car. Oh, let's do, no, no, let's do this guy. Oh man, this is like my pet monkey thing. I uh, wonder how that's it gonna do. So let's pick, um, let's pick a prompt here. Uh, let's do this one. And I'm going to change the, the prompt a little bit. Going to put beautiful alien. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to distinguish that, maybe. Let's see. Uh, I'll do um, top light, and then I will do... Let's see, baby. Let's keep everything the same. 
and then I will relight and see what that does. Okay, this one is done, and look at that gorgeous alien. It did mask out some of his arm, but that's okay. That is pretty sweet. That looks really good. I I I, I don't know how how this is working, but it's working fairly good. I'm gonna save that. But wow, that's pretty good. So we're gonna try another one. Um, let's see. Let's see if it'll light a car. Okay, here's the one for the car. And this car was generated in our car factory workflow that we're trying to fix up and work on. But yo, bro, look at this. They did add the background, and you could probably prompt the background, but look at that. That looks phenomenal, baby. So good. It is so good. Oh my god. Wow, I love this, and I'm pretty sure someone's working on getting this into Comfy UI, um, but right now we're just able to use it through this uh, Hugging Face demo, uh, also through uh, Gradio. So you want to check this out, go check it out, and uh, let me know what you think, and hopefully we can get stuff like this. This is like, this is like innovation and technology that excites me. You know, this is stuff that it's moving that, that bar higher and higher and what we can do it's just phenomenal so i will see you guys next time like and subscribe make sure you check us out and we're almost at 10k so we're gonna try and have some kind of celebration for 10k so check us out there if i was abigail's out